it's Eugenia. So today I'm going to be doing a video trying the new ColourPop Animal Crossing collection. So I've been super, super excited for this collection. I heard about it a while ago and then I saw ColourPop announced it on their Instagram. I was so excited about it because back when Animal Crossing New Horizons came out, I was super excited. I was like super addicted to it and playing it like all the time. Like I used to play Animal Crossing back on like Nintendo DS like years ago and I just think it's a super fun and super cute game. It turns out that ColourPop was actually nice enough to send me their Animal Crossing collection in PR. So thank you so much to ColourPop for doing that. I always love ColourPop's makeup and also I love Animal Crossing. So that made me like extra excited that this collection was a thing. So a while ago too, I actually bought this kind of like Isabelle inspired costume cosplay thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, this will be like the perfect video to wear this for. So yeah, that kind of worked out. And all right guys, I actually have everything still like in the package because I was taking kind of like a small look yesterday and everything looked like it was packaged so nicely that I was just kind of like, I think like when I make the video, that's when I'll just kind of like take everything out and do all that. Even the box that this came in is so adorable. It came with like the little like Tom Nook leaf and it's so cute. Opening this box, it has a message from Tom Nook and it says, I had these made especially for island residents. It comes with this little thing with the Animal Crossing acorn that basically says what this comes with. And it also came with these super, super cute Animal Crossing stickers. And I was super excited to see this. It has some of my favorite villagers like Fauna and Bunny. And then there's Isabel and there's Stitches. They're just super, super cute like Animal Crossing stickers. So this this is where the palettes come in. It's so cute. It has like all the Animal Crossing characters here. We have the Nook Ink palette, like the Tom Nook palette. So cute. Five Star Island Isabel palette. This is so cute. I love these. What a hoot. Oh my gosh. I, I This is so embarrassing, but I haven't honestly played Animal Crossing in a while. I've been like so bad keeping up with my island uh, to the point that I'm kind of forgetting the guy at the museum's name, but I really like him. Like I relate to him because I'm also like terrified of bugs. So, you know, I kind of like understand his like insect fear. <laughs> and then, so then we also have the Able Sisters palette and this looks so cute. This is so adorable. I love like the pastel colors for these two. Tom Nook palette is, this looks super pretty. These are like shades that I love. It's like a lot of like green kind of like, kind of like green bluey teal shade. I feel like it just matches Tom Nook perfectly, matches Animal Crossing perfectly. Let's look at the Isabel palette. I'll probably show you guys my full Isabel outfit too, like after I finish my makeup. This is super, super cute. I feel like this is so perfect for Isabel. The colors is like this pretty like yellowy gold. There's these really pretty pinks. This is just super, super cute. Abel Sisters palette. This is so pretty with all these purples. I love purple eyeshadow too. So like that is super pretty. So then we have this palette of this guy. I know the girl's celestial, but I just can't remember the museum's guy's name um but this looks super cute this looks like it's kind of more of like a kind of more like browns and orangey shade they all look super awesome and i also love that it looks like a lot of these contain like a glitter shade because i love the color pop glitters i always think they're super pretty so oh this must be the glitter this looks like oh this is such a cute package with the little stars and then animal crossing leaves the billionaire glitter and this i'm very excited for because i love the color pop glitters. This looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's like a gold. I'm so excited to try that. That looks so pretty. So then we have the two um the two lip tints. It's so cute. It comes in like this little package with the Animal Crossing trees. Two shades. It comes in coconut juice and income parable. Oh my gosh, and there's more. We also have more tints. We have juicy apple and cherry cherry. And these come with like the cherry trees. So cute. Oh, look at that. It has like Animal Crossing villagers on the box. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, these all have Animal Crossing villagers. That's so cute. And this one is Peach Surprise and Orange Cutie. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. It's like in one of the Animal Crossing presents. So this is a Balloon Pop Super Shop shadow. This looks super pretty. Oh, it looks like it's kind of like a purpley, kind of a purpley brown. I think in the mail, the shadow may have sadly got a little crushed, but that's totally fine. I think it should still work. I'm just gonna be a little careful with it, but the color looks like super, super pretty. And then here we have the two blushes. 
And we have this in flower power. The boxes for these are so cute, guys, with all like the Animal Crossing villagers. And we have flower tender. So two different Animal Crossing flower blushes. I already did the base of my makeup, so I can just kind of go ahead and try everything. Uh -huh. All right, guys, so I think the first thing that I'm gonna start out doing is my eye makeup. And before I start putting any shadows on, I'm just gonna real quick prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Alright, so next, I'm gonna actually start like applying eyeshadows. I kind of feel like it makes sense for me to do the Isabel one, where like I'm kind of dressed like Isabel, but I also feel like the outfit would go really good with the Tom Nook palette. I just do really, really love the colors in the Tom Nook palette. I'm kind of thinking I might start with this one, and then maybe if I want to add more colors, then maybe I'll start using the Isabel palette or another one of these palettes. The color shades are all super cute, like the names of the shades, guys. Like they're all like related to Animal Crossing, like things in the game. Like there's Made in the Shade, Yes, Yes, uh, CEO, and Water Landing. And they also come with like little mirrors on the top here. And you can see like the little Tom Nook. All of these palettes have that for the character. I think the first thing that I'm gonna start by doing is using the darkest shade in this palette called Water Landing. I'm just gonna apply that to my crease. Wow. <laughs> So I'll tell you guys, so far from using this, the pigment is super, super good. It's applying really nicely. The color is super pretty. So, so far, I'm like very happy with this. I, I feel like the ColourPop pigments lately in their palettes has been super, super good. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that through my crease. I love the color of this so much, it's so pretty. So I think the next color that I'm gonna try is maybe a little bit of this shade Made in the Shade. And just kind of use that to blend out a little bit above um, where I put the other color, which was Water Landing. <laughs> it's really pretty. Um, it has a little bit of a sparkle in this shade too, which is really pretty and cute. Um, and yeah, I feel like everything's blending. Really nice, looking really good. I love the way that looks in the crease. I think that those colors are so pretty. I kind of maybe do want to try like one of the Isabel colors too. Like I don't know how well the pinks would go with like what I'm doing. I love the pink shadows, so in different looks, I'll definitely like use them. But I was kind of thinking maybe I could try a little bit of the shade right here called, it's, it's actually called Isabel, it's like the color of Isabel. It's like this really pretty looking like yellowy kind of gold shade. Oh my gosh guys, the, the shade names for this palette too, it's all so cute. It's Island Tune, Island Designer, and Resonant Rep. I feel like ColourPop like really themed this like so good. Alright, I think I actually will try just like a little bit of the shade Isabel, kind of like starting on my lid. Then I'll probably end up using like another color on my lid too. Probably just go in right with my finger because it looks like kind of a shiny shade. Oh wow, that is like so shiny. That's a super pretty color, guys. Okay, so I wasn't expecting it to be quite so shiny, but that makes me so happy because I love shadows like that. And this is actually blending really nicely with the more blue green shade, I feel like. So I feel like that looks like very pretty. I actually probably am gonna end up using more of that later too. So I'm gonna go back into the Tom Nook palette. Next thing I'm gonna do is use some of made in the shade just like on my lid next to where I put that more yellowy shade and then I think after that I'm gonna try some of this color CEO which looks like a really pretty glitter and I love the ColourPop glitter shades I'm really excited to try that one so this shade, when you put it on your lid, I feel like it's super pretty. This one is kind of more of a green, which I love because I love green shadows. So I'm just gonna continue kind of applying that. Okay, and that I feel like all works out like super well together. I'm already really happy with how this is coming out. Now I'm going into the shade CEO and I'm just gonna do that with my finger and wow, it's already looking like a super pretty glitter. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that over it because like, like I said, I love the ColourPop glitter. Wow, it's so pretty and glittery. Okay, so that I feel like is super pretty. It has a lot of really pretty glitter. All right guys, so there's the glitter, yay. <laughs> so now underneath my eye, I'm just gonna go back into a little bit more water landings and made in the shade and just kind of like blend some of that below my eye.
feel like below my eye, that worked really well too. I'm just gonna go back into the Isabel palette. Use a little bit more of the shade Isabel, and I'm just gonna kinda use that more in like my inner corner. So I actually feel like that color Isabel works super, super well with the Tom Nook shades. I'm really happy that I ended up including that. And now, finally, I'm just gonna use a little bit of the shade Yes Yes. I think that color looks pretty light, so I feel like I can probably get away with just using a little bit of it below my brow bone. I know we can try another color, so yeah. Oh wow, and that is like very pretty. It's like very shiny, really nice looking. And I feel like it actually worked really good as a highlight there because it just goes really well with these colors. So yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's pretty much the shadows that I'm gonna be trying today from this palette. I think that these colors are super pretty. I'm super happy with them. Real quick, I'm just gonna go and do liner and mascara off the of camera. And then I'm gonna come right back and start trying the rest of these products. I'm really excited to try them, so okay. Be right back. All right guys, so this is how the finished eye look turned out. And I'm super, super happy with this palette and uh, both the palettes I tried today. I think that they're all so cute. I love the packaging. The names of all the shades are so cute. And um, I feel like the pigment in all these is just super good. The colors are all super, super pretty. And I just think the quality of these shadows and everything is really good. They all look super pretty on, super pretty on your eyes and everything. I guess now I'm gonna move on to the rest of the makeup and I think the next thing I'm gonna try out is the blushes. So this collection came with two different blushes and I have them both right here. Guys, I still can't get over like how cute the packaging is with these. And it has some of my favorite villagers. Like here's Bunny, this one has Fauna. It's so cute. So, all right, so we have two different ones. They're both like flower blushes, which is super cute. Here we have Flower Power. So this looks like kind of a pinky purple kind of blush. It looks like a really pretty color. I also love the flower stamp. This also comes with the little mirror there and then with all the villagers. So that's a really cute, nice feature that this has. And then we have the second one here, which is Flower Tender. And now let's take a look at this one. This is so cute too, with like the orange flower. So this is really pretty. This looks like it's kind of a brighter pink blush, actually. Both of these look super, super cute. So I think for today, I'm gonna start with the lighter one. Maybe if I want like a little bit darker, maybe I'll kind of like put a little little bit of flower tender on also. I guess I'm gonna start with flower power. That is such a pretty and cute color. I'm obviously a fairy pale person, so on me, a lot of time like when I wear blushes or contour, I don't like it to be too dark just because like I'm very pale. And this is like a fairy, like pretty, kind of like light pale pink sorta. I love it. I think the color is super cute. I really, really like it. I feel like it is light enough that just because I kind of want to try both or it's like my first time using the collection, I feel like I could probably get away with maybe also just using a little bit of flower tender also. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and also just apply some kind of like over here. Wow. And this is also really pretty. It does look just like a little bit darker and a little more intense. So yeah, I guess like depending on how dark of a blush you want or intensity, you can kind of use whichever one you want or both. I really like both of them. I feel like they're both really pretty blushes. All right, so next we're gonna be moving on to one of the parts of this makeup collection that I'm honestly the most excited for. I absolutely love the ColourPop Glittery Obsessed Glitter. I was super excited that this collection um, comes with one of those. I have the glitter right here. This looks so pretty. It's called Bellionaire. It's like this really pretty looking gold. I'm just gonna apply a little bit like right over here. This is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I love this glitter. I know on my skin it might be a little intense but I personally really like how it looks. Wow. I think that's so gorgeous. I think there's a lot you could do with this too. Like if you did want to put this on your eyes, it could look really pretty there too. But I love it. I think that is like such a pretty glitter. So now last of all, I'm gonna be trying the lip tints. And the lip tints I'm also really excited to try. So this actually came with three different packages of 
different lip tint. Let's see, here we have Fruit Root, super cute, and like these mini duos. Packaging with like the little peaches and everything, this is so cute. So these are actually like in crayon format, wow. So here, it looks like this is kind of like a red shade, like a reddish orange, and this is Orange Cutie. Then here, this looks a bit lighter, and this is called Peach Surprise. Next collection here is called the Pick of the Bunch. So this is so cute, it has like the little pears here, and then here it says Incomparable. And this looks like a really pretty kind of like brown shade and then here we have kind of like a darker brown And this is called coconut juice and it has the little coconuts. Oh my gosh guys And I'm just realizing oh my gosh. It's like scented coconut. I feel like Colourpop went like all out with this collection Are they all scented? Oh my gosh. Yeah guys So they literally all scented to smell like the Animal Crossing fruits That's so cute and they literally smell like just like what their names are like this one smells like a pear the other one has like a coconut scent that's so awesome and then I have the last one here called fruits basket which obviously just comes in this really cute pink box so this has the shades juicy apple and it's kind of like this appley pink red kind of color and then last of all we have cherry cherry which is literally like the color of a cherry and is also cherry scented. Okay, so this is honestly really hard. Maybe we'll do one of them that came with the box with like Isabel on it, since I'm kind of Isabel today and stuff. So I think I'm gonna try Juicy Apple. It's really nice too, where this is kind of a pencil and you can kind of almost line your lips with this. Wow, and the color in that is really good, guys. Wow guys, and honestly the color in that is super pretty. It's actually very pigmented. See, where this is like a lip tint and not a lipstick, I didn't know if it was gonna be a little bit more like sheer, but it honestly applied like really nicely and I really like it. That is the finished makeup look with the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection. I think that the eyeshadow is so pretty. I think the blush is so cute and pretty. I love the glitter. I think the lip colors are super pretty. I love that they're all scented. I think that was like really creative and really cool that ColourPop did that. This is how everything looks all done. And honestly, I love the whole collection. I think the whole collection is so cute and so nice. I think it's a super, super great collection if you're an Animal Crossing fan or even if you just love ColourPop or makeup. I would definitely recommend it. I'm super, super happy with it. Big thank you again so much to ColourPop for being nice enough to send me this collection. I've been super excited for it and I am like very pleased with that. I think it's like super Super great collection. So, all right, guys, um, that's the makeup look. Uh, real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my Isabel outfit to cosplay thing because I also just thought this would literally be like the perfect video and time to wear this. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. So, as you guys can probably tell, this outfit is like fully inspired by Isabel, and this is just like an outfit that I found on eBay a while ago, and I was like, oh my gosh. When I heard about this ColourPop collection, I just knew this would be like the perfect time to wear it. Um, it has like Isabel's top that looks just like hers with like the checkered green and white. Comes with like this white shirt underneath. It also came with a ribbon that honestly was kind of on the long side, so I did just kind of cut it, and then I just kind of like tucked it in so it looked shorter, like how Isabel's actually is. And then it also just comes with this cute little like navy skirt, pretty much just like Isabel's outfit. All right guys, so I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos from me. You can also click the bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, bye.